Hi everybody. Welcome back to Come Paint With Me. I'm Norma and I am off camera today. Um, if you hear noise in the background, that is because I have my garage door open. Um, if I can at the end, I'll show you. I, I have made a screen door for my garage so that I don't get any bugs or any debris. So it's so beautiful here today in Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm trying something new. And I have not done this before. So this is a first time look at this. Um, I, I don't even know if it's gonna turn out. And I'm actually going to be watching a video from, from my iPad in front of me to see how she's doing it so I can try it. That's the only way you learn. And then maybe this video won't even make it to my YouTube channel. Um, maybe I'll, you know, wait until I get really good at it because this may be a total fail. But like I said, stick around and come paint with me and we will learn together. So I'm going to pause you for a minute until I get this canvas flooded because I haven't done it yet and I don't want to take the time to have to do that on camera. So I'll be right back. just going to record a little insert here in case you saw what I was using the bottles it's Loli Vefi these are great bottles they have a great dispense system you don't have to worry about losing caps wipe off the top they're ready to go it's a really a great bottle you can have your paints mixed up already and be ready to take off I put a little bit of iridescent medium in each of these colors in a cup. That's why they're in the cups. Sometimes it's just a little easier to distribute it, get your colors out. 
the way you want if you're doing something constructive like this. So stay tuned. As you can see, I'm starting my fairy over here, but I'm just really in the mood to paint. So I am going to um, start another project. I forgot to put my push pins in. So let me do that off camera and I'll come back. I flooded the canvas and then I tilted it so I could get a lot of it off because I don't want too much. I think that one over there may have had too much paint on it and that's why my paints are just spreading all over the place. Add some wine and roses and some maybe some pink passion and ginger flower. Those are all um, primary elements, so I need to have some other types of paint in there, which I will. And I think I'll do this one. And these have iridescent in them. I, and I'm trying another fairy because I just want to see if I can do this. Okay, well that's two paintings that I've done. I kind of want to take the hair dryer and just go. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. My other lady over here has the dresses running down the side. So I try to remind everybody at the end of the videos not to forget to scrape your sides. The drips will keep pulling the paint off of the canvas. So as long as you get those drips off, and in most cases, the drips are huge, big drips, because um, you have a lot of extra paint on your canvas. Now this one, I pour off most of the big part of the paint. So I'm off camera now because I'm just getting the other one while I'm here. Oh boy. 
Okay, I'll have to show you my screen door to my garage, which I said on the other video. I have a screen door in my garage, and that's why if you heard any street noise or anything, because uh, it's just going to be our last beautiful day. I don't think we'll have any more till next April. So, I will uh, continue and see if I can make something out of this. Stay tuned. And if you like the video so far and you like what I'm doing, thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell. And, um, and I'll keep doing it. <laughs> Thanks a lot. See you back here in a few days. Hi, welcome back to Come Paint With Me. This is actually not a, a separate video because I'm going to be tagging, I think, on the end of my other video. So I was trying to do um, a different project last time and it was supposed to be like, I, I don't know if you've ever seen, um, I think it's Carmen. She does the fairies with the wings and the dresses and I thought, well, you know, it's different, so I'm going to give it a try. Because, you know, they know it so well that, that they don't understand what, what we don't know. <laughs> so there wasn't a whole lot of instruction, some, um, but I, I tried to figure it out myself. Well, here's what not to do, or here is my fail. So I started out with this one. Yeah, that's supposed to be the wings, that's supposed to be the dress. Well, it went all off the sides because I kind of did it with an acrylic pour kind of thing. So I didn't understand that you had to have less paint on there so your paint doesn't move around so much. Or at least it doesn't fall off the end of the canvas. So that ended up being my first fail so then i thought well i'm just gonna go ahead and do another video and this time i'm gonna i'm gonna position it a little bit better but i used which if you can tell from the back here i used um color arts uh, primary element dry pigments and that's how you know that you've used that is because it's so rich color it just comes through well you can't use that when you're doing this ladies because it it spreads and then when you try to paint it it spreads even more so and, and there's something else too but let me get this first I did another one and this is horrible but it's really about trying and then I'm not finished with it I'm gonna keep trying to just touch it up a little bit I don't think there's any reason for me to other than just practice so <laughs> here is my angel now I could live with all of this just being like she is a blur and floating through a cloud maybe leaving her fairy dust behind or angel dust but the face I tried to do with a like doing the the tracing and then the carbon paper and put up there but then the head was too small so I just kept expanding it I'm not sure if the head's too big now but it looks very masculine doesn't it even even with the hair and I'm not finished with it but still like I said it's practice and so now I have learned that I need to stick with the regular paints and here's something else this one my granddaughter did and Erin did such a good job and she is just thrilled to see the paint move and the color changes and the gold sparkling and shining through and I used the primary elements on this one so she was really happy about that now I find out that you can't 
use the polycrylic to put over top of it. You're going to have to um, use resin or don't do anything to it. Because when you put the polycrylic on it and you're brushing it on, it smears the paint. Now the paint's dry, but you're reactivating it, I guess, the primary elements part. And if you can see that dark streak right up the center, I'm going to do another coat and I'm going to try and bring that back together. Um, but that's what it does. And it has done that before. Uh, I think I cleaned that one up too much in the paint behind me. It, and when I, and then when I go out here, it leaves smudges and streaks. And I didn't notice the darkness until I had cleaned up the other part. And it's hard to do a cleanup when you're using polycrylic because you can't brush too much. You can't brush too little. It, it's a kind of a pain. But since I'm in my garage and I leave my door open to my house um, to heat it, well, I have a little heater in here too, but to cool it mainly, um, I might just have to start shutting it. I'm going to definitely have to start shutting it when I do the resin because I understand it stinks. And I think everybody else does it in their house, but I saw a video of a lady that was all dressed up in all of her garb with this big double respirator thing on. And that's what you have to do to protect yourself from the smells and the chemicals and everything. Who wants to do that in their house? Who wants to do that at all? But it has been done. Uh, uh, Tammy Anderson does it. She doesn't seem to have a problem. Uh, there's just a, there's just several people that have done it and you can see that it is it works for them because their projects come out just perfect like just clear and smooth and n nothing in it I, I don't know how they do that but when i'm done varnishing which is the polycrylic and it'll be for the um the other the resin i i've got me some of these and so i can just put it right down over top of it so nothing falls in it because i'm in my garage again and of course my cats and my dog can't be anywhere without me so i think that i'm uh i'm gonna try and clean this up see if that works and I have a bigger one of those, too, that goes across to almost the whole table for a bigger size canvas. And I hate the fact that I can only do one thing at a time. So when you're doing one of these fairies, angels, you need to know, you need to know what you're doing first so you know how to place your paint. So you can try and get it as close to this as possible you know, a little longer or whatever. It doesn't really matter that it's perfect, but you want to leave room for the shoes and the body of the, of the girl. So everything is white, unless you want to do a color, black, black, and then this is your pour. And the other thing that she used, uh, I, which I did not have at the time. So part of this was with a hair dryer and part of it was with my straw. I believe I used both, which you should have seen in the video. Um, there's this little thing and it's like a little mini leaf blower. And you just, I mean, it's USB run, but I just used a plug, put a plug on it. And then you can have a little bit more control of where you put your paint. I'm learning and I thank everyone that has helped me through this. I just want to create some some art. I just want to be busy. So I'm hoping that uh, I can teach everybody what to do and what not to do. So this was pretty much an epic fail.
but an absolute must for learning. Because if you don't make mistakes, you, you can't really learn it. Unless you're just so darn good that you just going to whip them out just like that. No problem. I hope you uh, enjoyed this. I hope you learned something from it. So I'm going to give it another try. Hope you give me a thumbs up for giving you some good information. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. And um, I'll be back again. So you can come paint with me. Bye.